Yes, legends, this could possibly be the most important video I ever do on this YouTube channel, guys, and it's not going to be for the reason you think. We're going to get straight into the Bitcoin price action. I'm going to tell you in this video, watch the whole video, guys. Like and subscribe and comment for a chance to win MDX algo below. Guys, let's start with Bitcoin. Make this really simple, guys. In my previous stream, I said that if as long as we're below 20K, guys, it's a more bearish outlook for the short-term price analysis of Bitcoin. There is some positive news about Bitcoin. I'll just tell you about this now. Look, if we carve out a higher low here and we get another attempt at 20k, we could look we could be looking at some sort of ascending formation. Um, look, there could potentially be some sort of pop to the upside here, guys. We do have a significant amount of bullish divergence playing out in the daily time frame. There's actually the MDX oscillator five. This is a good sign for at least some sort of move to the upside. So if we hold these lows here, guys, and get a high low here, we could see another attempt at twenty thousand dollars, guys. You know my strategy. I'd look to sell 20k. If we get above 20k, I buy it as support. You sell it, sell it as resistance or buy it as support in a trade sense uh, other flip guys if we lose the lows i do think it's a continuation and i want to show you something very interesting here guys about other currency markets which is really really important and i've been saying this for years guys actually three years ago i had a conversation actually with my father about this and uh, so and some friends and they they could call be crazy but it's actually playing out right now guys i'm going to show you that chart in a second those charts so if we lose the low guys it's going to be a lower low scenario you know the scenario i'm looking at here it's going to be retag around seventeen thousand five hundred, like this up again probably find resistance again on the prior lows and continuation down to 14k i think that is the downside target Targets. You guys know my medium term outlook. I'm thinking that I think for between 14 and 28k for the next three to six months is more than I actually think it's more than probable right now looking at the market dynamic and as long as we're below 20 guys we get above it and it's looking better now now guys these charts are not cryptocurrency charts but these are very very important things to be looking at right now and this actually goes into something which i call the milkshake dollar theory really important i'm going to show you now guys everybody knows that over the last few years the euro and the pound have been plummeting in terms of their purchasing power against the us dollar actually in the last few days guys the great british pound has actually gone down 11 percent guys after breaking out of this range i mean the dollar is strengthening other fiat currencies are falling like crazy and the euro right now is it's literally i was okay i was saying this over three or four years ago that in the future i was saying this to people in the uk i was saying that in the future it's going to be one euro for one pound guys people laughed at me three years ago for saying this and i said i'm getting into bitcoin and other alternative assets to hedge against it no one fucking even took me seriously okay right now guys you can buy one euro for 97 cents the great british pound is at 109 you can guys this is absolutely insane it used to be two so this is absolutely insane guys how much is how much is crashing and this actually goes into my theory guys the dollar milkshake theory you can read about this Everything is sinking at a certain rate, even the dollar is sinking, but the dollar is sinking slower than other fiat currencies. And we're seeing this play out in real time, guys. The problem is, guys, right now is that Bitcoin is in that category. Bitcoin is a currency. It's just a digital currency. Bitcoin today, as it stands, is just a digital version of a currency, guys. And, you know, this is not what Bitcoin is going to be in the future. Bitcoin actually mimics uh, money and gold. But Bitcoin is going to trade like gold eventually in the future. But right now, Bitcoin trades like a fintock and a currency at the same time. And if the dollar milkshake theory does play out, which does look like it's happening, guys, even really big, let's say, blue collar blue chip um fiat currencies like the euro and the great british pound are falling very very quickly in relation to the us dollar um bitcoin's going to fall into that category and i think that there could be some sort of big rush into the dollar guys for safety another big factor guys is the traditional equity markets guys strengthening the dollar again we're seeing the loss of support guys coming down to the lows people aren't opting into equity yet this is actually coming down retesting the lows if we do come up guys and lose these lows here um this is going to be a kiss of death scenario and actually we're coming down to much lower levels which will reinforce my point when i said that bitcoin trades like a fintech stock and a currency at the same time again agreeing with that dollar milkshake theory dollar winning at the moment obviously gold's another story but what you could see is there could be a flush on other currencies dollar milkshake theory and actually bitcoin will join that camp the dixie is representing that look at it it's clearly representing that right now people are moving into us dollars for the safe haven that the us dollar gives in the short term doesn't mean guys that things like bitcoin and gold won't win in the long term because we know that us dollars are in essence the same as any other fiat currency they are just government-backed political paper they can be printed then they can be debased if they can be printed and debased, they will eventually be corrupted, meaning in the future at some point they will collapse. And that's what the dollar will do. That's what all these fiat currencies are going to do. There will be an alternative to that. But that's a huge move here, guys. And that is um, not moving. Everyone's like, oh, Bitcoin and the Dixie are correlated. No, 
There's a lot more Forex markets. The foreign exchange markets is the deciding factor on the Dixie and equity markets. Bitcoin and crypto, whatever. It's tiny. It's like a fucking goddamn paddling pool compared to an ocean. You can't compare the two. Right now, the money's flowing in from other fiat currencies and equity markets. You can see it perfectly like this. So how do we take advantage of this, Legends? How do we take advantage of this? Okay, if this does play out and the dollar milkshake theory does get more extreme, okay, and more currencies start falling, things like Bitcoin start falling, we've got to, we've got to think in the long run. You have to get into assets which have a fixed or scarce supply. Equities is going to be better than dollars. Anything that is a fiat currency eventually is going to be a worse place to be in the long term, okay? So what we do is this, guys. If Bitcoin does go lower, if equities do go lower, if we do see freaking currency markets falling, what you need to do is you need to say, okay, look, I'm moving into things like Bitcoin and gold. You have to be that silver in as well. Even equity at some point, that'd be a good investment there. Uh, because we do know that eventually the dollar will collapse, okay? But there might be a short-term prolonged a pr period of time where the dollar strengthens. Ultimately, though, if you have the card of buying Bitcoin and gold, you know, you will win either or. If you try and jump into fiats like the US dollar in terms of the, the dollar milkshake theory idea, get into dollars now, you might have a short-term win, but then you might miss when the problem with the dollar arises in the future. So I'd say the easiest best bet to do is to be in the camp of value. Go for the things like gold. You know, go for those long-term investments, safe haven assets. And I think Bitcoin will eventually be in that camp. And I'm, I'm betting on that on this channel anyway. I'm MDX crypto. I'm not MDX great British pounds. So I'm betting on that as well in my long-term portfolio. So that's what we're looking at, guys. I think it's really, really interesting. If you do want to trade these markets, guys, get a Bybit account, get a Femex account, and get a BitGet account. Depending, I'll put something on the screen now for you. And all the links are in the description, guys. You can actually get thousands and thousands of dollars completely for free from the exchanges in crypto to start trading. You are all legends, guys, and I'll see you on the flip side. Have a good day.